Can we start? Yeah, ma'am. Is audible? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, sir. So, shall we start, sir? Did not. Here, madam, we can proceed, ma'am. We can start. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. Uh, good afternoon, one and all. Welcome to Vishwakar College. On behalf of PG Department of Computer Science, we welcome you all to this webinar on research issues and challenges in Internet of Things. To begin this webinar orally, let us first invoke the presence of the Almighty God. May I request Professor S. Gabler Stephen Smith, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science, to offer the prayer. So let us pray. Lord, I come to you in Jesus' name. Thank you for the wonderful day given to us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all your blessings showered upon us so far, Lord. Lord, we thank and praise you for keeping and watching over us for the past four months of 2021 without taking rest and break, Lord. Lord, we thank you for bringing us together as a teaching fraternity to this webinar. Lord, I commit this webinar into your mighty hands. Let your presence and guidance be with us right from the beginning to the end of this webinar. Lord, I thank you for our respected principal and the college management for their constant support in conducting webinars during this pandemic. Lord, I thank you for the resource person, Dr. R. Chinnayan, Associate Professor, 
CMR Institute of Technology, Bengaluru, for accepting our invitation to be the chief guest of today's webinar on research issues and challenges in the Internet of Things. As he is presenting the content, let your wisdom and grace be with him. Whatever he is going to present that should be useful to the teaching community and their future endeavors. Lord, we thank you for our beloved HOD. Lord, you bless him and his responsibilities and his family as well, Lord. Whatever step that he is taking, all should come to pass for the betterment of the department, development of the college and welfare of the student friends, Lord. Lord, I thank you for the organizers for their sincere efforts to conduct this webinar during this pandemic for the benefit of research community. Let them be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Lord, I thank you for the participants from our college as well as uh, various colleges. Lord, help us to understand the content completely, Lord. Lord, I commit everything in hands of God. I ask everything in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Stephen, sir. Small cheers and great welcome makes a merry feast. Now I would like to invite Dr. B. Jagai Pirimam, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science, to welcome the gathering. Good evening to all. I welcome you all for this wonderful seminar. And I'm very happy to share the welcome address. I welcome all the participants here. Um, hope you're going to have a, a very good listening from now on. You're going to have a very good knowledge sharing session today in this beautiful evening. And I welcome our uh, speaker, Dr. R. Chinnayan, sir, amongst us. He's an associate professor, information science and engineering, CMI Institute of Technology, Bengaluru. He's amongst us. We are very happy to have you here, sir. Thank you for accepting our invitation in, in spite of the busy schedule. Thank you so much, sir. He has more than 20 years and he has received five research grants. And he holds three important professional memberships of IST Life Membership, CSI Annual Membership and ACM Annual Membership. And he has area of uh, interest in teaching in, in a wide range, machine learning, internet of things, big data analytics, software engineering, software testing, storage area networks, object oriented analysis, problem solving using C and many more. And he has research interest of software reliability, big data, machine learning, internet of things, wireless sensor, and he has more than 60 in numbers of uh, reputed journal publications, research publications. He holds more than 60 plus. And he also holds five patents. And we are very delighted to have you here, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for accepting our invitation. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Leaders are made, they are not born. They are made by hard effect. Now, now I would like to invite Dr. B. Satish Kumar, sir, Associate Professor, Department of Computer Science to deliver the presentation address. Good evening, uh, we're all gathered here. I'm very happy to be a part of this uh, webinar at this juncture. I would like to thank our uh, HOD, Dr. G. Sobos Wives, David, for his uh, tireless effort to conduct uh, these kinds of seminars. Actually, these kinds of seminars will help students as well as uh, researchers like us. Uh, thank you, Sobos, for uh, conducting these kinds of seminars. Uh, uh, it would be better to have webinars like this in the following days also. Actually, uh, we can classify the research into three categories, theoretical research, architectural related research, and application research. In India, we are doing only application research only. We are doing only application research, but uh, this IoT is uh, very much closer to architectural related uh, research. 
when coming to architectural related research, uh, we have to be supported with uh, infrastructure. So uh, I am also belonging to a physics student. So this IoT very much closer to physics. I can simply say uh, it has to support sensors as well as communication technologies. IoT has to support sensors as well as communication technologies to evolve and to develop. But uh, in India, we are very much lacking in communication technologies. We will have sensors well, but the sensors, by using those sensors as well as by using those uh, things, uh, we can execute only within the shorter range of area. Applications can be successfully done in IoT only within the shorter range of areas. In India, we are still using a microprocessor only, but in Japan, they are using neural processor for executing their things. So we are very much lacking, and I think we are very much lacking in um, infrastructure as well as communication technologies. These things have to be addressed. I think at this juncture, uh, Dr. R. Chinnay, an associate professor, CMR Institute of Technology, Bangalore, will explore several things for us to know about the issues as well as uh, problems related with uh, IoT projects. I would like to thank uh, for giving me this opportunity for the management. Thank you. Over to organizing committee, please. Thank you, sir. The beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you. Uh, uh, this proverb explains about to learn new thing. Uh, we are going to learn a new thing is research. Not a new thing, we are searching, again searching. At the center, I would like to attribute this proverb to our chief guest because the valuable past makes them important today and it will make an impact on the future. Our chief guest, Dr. Chinnayan, Associate Professor, Information Science and Engineering, CMR, Institute of Technology, Bengaluru. <clears throat> now, uh, now he present the webinar about the research, um, research issues and challenges in Internet of Things. Uh, sir, now I hand over the session to our resource person. Now the session is over, sir. Very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My screen is visible. Uh, my voice is audible. Yes, sir. You are seeing my full screen. My voice is audible. Yes, sir. Yes, very good evening uh, to ladies and gentlemen, all the participants. And uh, first of all, my uh, wholehearted uh, good evening to my uh, well known uh, well wisher and friend of mine, uh, Dr. G. Sobers Mines David, head department of computer science. Ship to an associate dean of international relations, Bishop Weber College, Ritchie, who is instrumental in uh, organizing this uh, webinar in a short notice uh, for the welfare of the faculty, fraternity, and all the students of uh, Bishop Weber uh, College of Computer Science and in and around Ritchie zone. And I once again uh, show my gratitude to Professor and the co convener of uh, this webinar, Dr. R. Jemina Priyadarshni. Associate Professor, Department of Computer Science, Bishop Weber College, and Ritchie, and all the organizing committee coordinators for making this webinar uh, in the evening of uh, Thursday. And with that, I'll, I'll directly go to the uh, presentation of uh, the webinars. Today's topic or uh, theme research issues and challenges in Internet of Things, IoT. Professor, shall I proceed? Is it visible and audible? Yes, sir. Audible, sir. You can proceed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are audible. Yes, you can proceed, sir. Okay. okay. This is about industrial evaluation. Uh, uh, before going into in depth into the use cases and research issues and challenges, let me introduce what is Internet of Things. So this is in the era of 1940s and 50s, industrial revolution. So you just see on the left-hand side one uh, diagram will be there, uh, that is uh, steam engine. And on the right-hand side, how the production and manufacturing industries looks like. Then uh, this, that uh, computer is the initial computer that we faced in 1960s, uh, 70s, right? So if you're facing any issues in screen and voice, you kindly put me break so that I'll change uh, accordingly, right? 
and this is the industrial revolution that we are facing and slowly uh, we went for this uh, history of internet in 1970s we got this uh, open net uh, all you people are aware of it i think so then uh, we went for uh, 1971 we introduced this is electronic mail for transferring the messages from source to destination and slowly we went for this 1984 uh, some commercial websites like dot com or maybe some government or educational websites are came with the dot com dot org dot government and dot edu right then in 1992 we went for this consortium worldwide web consortium so released to www and uh, in 1994 to 98 we are having this yahoo pizza hut ebay internet to hotmail and google are launched then 2004 and 2006 period we went for this collaboration websites like youtube facebook and uh, twitter and all launched in 2007 uh, this iphone and the mobile web has been introduced so this is about the history of internet again i'm putting in 1970 we went for opponent then we went for uh, emails then we went for the commercial websites organizational websites and domain websites and edus then in 1992 we went for worldwide web uh, w3 consortium then in 1989 we again we went for some opponent uh, related uh, issues and in 94 98 period we went for some yahoo pizza hut ebay internet hotmail and google are launched then after this 2004 2006 period we went for some social networks like youtube facebook twitter and all in 2007 iphone has been introduced and mobile commerce has been introduced in the market so this is about the history of internet so then we went for this industry 4.0 now we are in the era of 2021 so how this industry 4.0 came into picture you just see uh, 20 million years ago so that's the first main mankind uh, slowly we went for industry 1.0 in 1784 then 1870 we went for industry 2.0 where water steam and mechanical production starts then and 1969 we went for industry 3.0 and now we are in 2021 so we are using industry 4.0 every everything uh, is basically all the industries they have afford to go for industry 4.0 and this is about the industrial revolution technologies that we are facing you just see all these technologies put together uh, start from space technologies augmented reality and virtual reality neuro technologies new computing technologies internet of things geo engineering 3d printing advanced materials artificial intelligence and robotics biotechnology energy capture storage and transmission mecha- mechanisms and uh, blockchain and distributed ledger so all this uh, 12 technologies now uh, are in the market in 2021 so madhouse how had about all these things and uh, our today's technology with, that we are going to have this in this webinar theme is iot what is iot yes so short and sweet definition about iot so iot is a framework in which all the things have uh, presentation the presentation and a presence in the again i'm telling it's bridging the physical and virtual worlds mission to mission communications and uh, it enables the interactions between things and applications in the cloud again i'm telling uh, iot is a framework bridging the physical and virtual worlds and in which mission to mission communication or m to m communications uh, which enables the interactions between things and applications in the cloud that's the short and sweet definition as far as iot is concerned and uh, what actually uh, it does iot is a intelligent connectivity of physical devices driving massive gains in efficiency business growth and quality of life right so as far as iot is concerned it's intelligent connectivity of physical devices uh, driving massive gains uh, in efficiency business growth and quality of life so all we put together and we ask always we used to ask who is the father of internet of things yes we will ask the same question i am asking now yes kevin aston uh, born in 1968 uh, is a british uh, technology pioneer who co-founded this auto id center in national institute of technology uh, who is the father of internet of things who is an introducer of internet of things he is known for coining the term internet of things to describe a system where the internet is connected to physical world via ubiquitous sensors again i'm telling kevin aston in 1968 uh, is a british uh, technology pioneer who co-founded this massive institute of technology uh, who created uh, this internet of things and coined the, the term internet of things right and uh, this is connected to the physical world via ubiquitous sensors just as far as history is concerned again i'm putting some basic history of this iot Uh, 1997 iot internet reports originally launched in 1997 and slowly in 1999 auto id center founded in mit by kevin aston the father 
2003 EPC Global founded in MIT. In 2005, uh, four important technologies of IoT was proposed in WSIS conference, the first international conference of IoT, right, uh, was held in Zurich. And this is about the IoT timeline. Uh, you just see in 2010, uh, around 6.8 uh, million uh, billion people are uh, there in population. And uh, the devices slowly increased in 2015, uh, 25 billion. So in 2010, 12, 13, 12.5 12 billion smart objects are connected. 2015, 7.2 billion uh, people, uh, 25 billion smart objects connected. In 2020, 7.6 billion people, 12 population. 50 billion smart objects connected. So this is the statistics given by Cisco. And uh, another two years, we are in 2021, 2023 or 2024, around 150 billion smart objects will be connected. So you just see the enormous growth of uh, IoT. You just see the curve. In 20, uh, to 2010, 12.5 billion. In 2015, five years, doubled. In 2020, again, it is doubled to 50 billion. Now we are in 2021, around 75 to 100 billion smart objects are connected. In another two years, it, it reaches 150 to 200 billion smart objects will be connected. That means what? The usage of Internet of Things is drastically increasing for every period. That means it's double. Now, we another two years, it will be four times higher than the top 50 billion. You just imagine what is the growth of this IoT. And you just see in 2003, one person, one mobile. 2008, one person, one mobile. And again, 2010, one person, two mobile. That means what? Smart objects. 2015, one person, five mobiles. In 2020, uh, one person around six to seven mobiles with the IPv6. That means in another two, three years, it will be go, it will go to 150 billion or 200 billion. That means one uh, person or a single home will have 10 mobiles and 10 mobiles are connected together. That means what? 200 billion smart objects will be connected in 2022 or 2023. That much of growth we are going to have as far as IoT use cases is concerned. And you just see uh, why Internet of Things? This question always in my mind. Why we are going for IoT? What is the reason? One is efficiency. Then second one is new economic value. And third one is quality of life. Yes, these three things are very important as far as the human uh, being's uh, life is concerned. So all we people wants to have efficiency in each and every activity. And also once efficiency got, we all have some profit. That economic value of the project or anything, what your product or project or process, we are doing with efficiency, automatically the next question will come is economy, whether we got profit, whether we have got some growth in terms of economy. So this economy value is also there in Internet of Things. And also we look for once efficiency and profit comes, automatically the quality of life will be enhanced. So these three factors makes us to go for Internet of Things. If you put a question, why Internet of Things there? Efficiency, new economic value, and quality of life. These are all the three important things which makes us to go for IoT. And uh, now in uh, the entire universe, we are discussing about IoT, IoT, IoT. One more thing we have to discuss, Internet of Everything. So people, data, process, and things are connected with IOE. We call it as IOE, Network Connection of People, Process, Data, and Things. Right? So all the people, process, data, and things, if you connect, that we call that uh, concept or methodology as Internet of Everything. We are going to face it in another one or two years. And this is the IoT reference model, uh, detailed reference structure, analog to digital conversion, generating data, being queried and controlled over the net. You just see this physical devices. We are having IoT World Forum reference model. We call it as IoT WF. This IoT WF is having seven layers. Uh, this is the seven layer IoT uh, world forum reference model. Uh, start with physical devices and controllers, then connectivity, then edge computing, then data accumulation, then data abstraction, then application and collaboration and process. Like, I, like Likewise, the network OSA reference model, I think so you might have studied in the classes or all you professors are already aware of that OSA reference model. Just like that, for IoT also, we are having IoT world forum reference model that we call it as IoT WF reference model. The seven layers concept, start with the first layer, physical devices and controllers, where sensors, devices, and machines are there. And then comes com connectivity where communication processing units are available. Then it goes to the edge computing uh, technologies where data element analysis and transmission is happening. Then storage is done in cloud. Then aggregation access is done with the edge and for computing models. Then it goes to report analytics and control where we are getting some insights. That insights is given to collaboration processes where involving people in business process, they are taking some 
decisions, valid decisions for the welfare of the organization. So this is the IoT World Forum reference model. And what is smart? Actually, all the people are discussing about smart systems. When we are discussing about IoT, automatically this word comes, smart systems. What is actually smart? A smart IoT, uh, IoT means instrument, interconnect, and intelligently process. We call it as three capitalized. In short, I used to say that three capitalized. IoT means instrument, interconnect, intelligently process. In world systems, what actually smart systems in world traditional systems can think, can compute. Whereas in smart, can finally find quickly, can delegate, communicate, and network. Some of the examples are smart grids, smart meters, smart cars, smart homes, smart cities, smart factories, smart smog detectors. So these are all some use cases. I'm going to give you a number of research use cases and challenges then in the forthcoming slides. And this is uh, IoT, that means IOE, things everywhere. Uh, you just see this is a smart planet we are going to have within a period of five years. In 2025, we will be there in smart planet. What is actually smart planet? The IoT already connects a wide range of devices and objects. Just imagine energy sector, auto and transport, industry and robotics, smart cities and grids, shopping malls, Wi-Fi routers, fresh personal electronics and home. So all this which we are having in the entire world we are going to convert the earth as smart earth. In other words, we call it as smart planet, right? So we are going to have all the things, all the things in and around us, in and around the human beings, we are do, we are going to connect with the help of internet, right? We are going to connect with the internet. So that's why we call it as smart planet. So we are going to have, we are going to live in smart planet in the forthcoming years. You just see some uh, cartoon. I think so. These are all very interesting cartoons. I used to uh, I used to do in uh, all my webinars and presentations. Uh, you just see on the left hand side, the cartoon is there. The toaster has been hacked into thinking it's a blender. Again, I'm reading it. The toaster has been hacked into thinking it's a blender, right? So the bread toaster is a smart bread toaster available, but it is hacked. On the right hand side, we are having a smart washing machine. So in home, all you used to Saturday, Sunday, all ladies used to have the washing machine. So now uh, in 2021, we are getting smart washing machines. You just see, I won't call being able to turn it on remotely, smart picking up my socks up of the floor, washing them and hanging them out to dry. That would be smart. You just see how this washing machine is doing, right? I wouldn't call being able to turn it on remotely, smart picking my socks up of the floor, washing them and hanging them out to dry. That would be smart. Yes, in Sundays, ladies are ladies, even husbands, all professors, you are all working for this washing, right? So if it's a small washing machine, what will happen? It will take care of on simply sitting in sofa set and with a remote with a uh, Android bar uh, smartphone, you'll be able to click switch on, switch off few years. And bread toaster, which is available in kitchen, we are going to have it. That we call it a smart bread toaster. We are going to have it. And this is another cartoon you just see. Hold it, Harry. There is a new software update for our toothbrushes. You just see smart toothbrush. We are going to use it in future. On the right hand side, we are having. We have to go for dinner. The refrigerator isn't speaking to the stove. You just see how how we are converting our kitchen as smart kitchen. Again, I'm telling. We have to go out for a dinner. The refrigerator is not speaking to the stove. The that much of smart appliances we are going to face in the forthcoming years, even for home also. So this is smart bread toaster, smart washing machine, smart toothbrush, smart refrigerator, smart stove. These are all the facilities with the help of IoT we are going to launch. And we just see, we have this biosensor so management can monitor your health during the day. Yes, during this COVID pandemic period, this we are we are using mask, right? So you just imagine IoT based biosensor mask. We have this biosensor so that management can monitor your health during the day. You just imagine all we are using N95 or ordinary mask. If it is IoT based mask, automatically we will be able to get the picture. What is what is our breathing style? How much percentage of oxygen we are inhaling? All this will be able to see in the screen in the mobile. This, we are going to convert all this N95 and ordinary mask as biosensor mask. Or wearable mask with IoT. Wow, I didn't know you were cared so much about my health. You just see. All the companies, they are going to give uh, biosensor or IoT based mask that gives you the entire picture of your human body and health. Employee 479 doesn't have a swallow breathing. You can give that one someone more work. Yes. Based on that 
for based on the condition of the employee we can allocate works so in future we are going to face this iot based works and this is already we discussed iot world form reference model seven layer architecture this all the use cases has to follow and once you are doing the use case you have to have some technologies and protocols which is very very important right so these are all the iot technologies and protocols we are going to avail in the four for the coming years uh, bluetooth zigbee zwave wifi cellular nfc loravan so these are all the technologies and protocols you have to have while we are implementing the iot use case and lots and lots of research area is open for research in these protocols and technologies and this is about iot sensors and actuators so a number of sensors are available i think so in 2021 in a home we are having five or six smartphones each smartphone is having all these sensors that means ambient light sensor position sensor motion sensor temperature humidity sensor acoustic sound vibration sensor gas sensor flow sensor force load torque strain pressure sensor leaks and level sensor magnetic sensor acceleration sensor tilt sensor all the sensors a smart mobile is having now and as far as the sensors is concerned we just see for building automation suppose if you are going for converting your ordinary building as smart building you have to have light sensor temperature sensor chemical sensor accelerometer sensor and contact sensor suppose for healthcare related issues if you are going for iot use case pressure temperature chemical biosensor light and initial sensors for consumer oriented applications you can go for gyroscope accelerometer magnetometer chemical pressure and temperature sensors for transportation if you are going for iot based small transportation system you have to have all these sensors gyroscope accelerometer magnetometer chemical pressure and temperature sensors suppose if you are going for industrial environments if you want to automate your all your companies process into iot smart systems pressure light chemical temperature accelerometer sensors are required and if we are going for making iot based smart environment to face this global warming issue to eradicate the global warming issue chemical temperature light pressure humidity sensors are required suppose if you are going for developing some use cases with respect to security and public safety gyroscope accelerometer magnetometer chemical and light sensors are required as far as uh, the retail and logistics industries concerned if you are going for smart automation for retail and logistics uh, industries light pressure temperature chemical magnetometer sensors are required and these are all some additional types of sensors position occupancy motion velocity uh, force pressure flow acoustics humidity light and radiation these are all some additional sensors where you can explore and you can do some research with these sensors when you are going for developing some your iot use cases as i already discussed and this is as already i told you uh, in the smartphone we are having all the sensors you just see all the smartphones that we are buying in 2021 is having all the sensors that means what a smartphone is an iot based phone small that's why we are calling it as a smartphone just see proximity sensor magnetometer accelerometer humidity sensor gyroscope moisture sensor microphone fingerprint sensor digital barometric pressure sensor thermometer touch screen light sensor global gps pedometer and camera so for each that means in 2021 when we are buying a smartphone these number of sensors are available that's why we are calling it as a smartphone right and uh, i think so all you people are aware of this alexa amazon echo is there canary is there these are all some available iot based devices that you can avail in home and you can control all the home appliances with this alexa and canary devices and this is also some additional devices already offices are having all the institution organization the having the desktop provides the user with the high level control over the system and its settings a tablet all you people are having in uh, that means during pandemic for the past one and a half year all the colleges support to have a tablet access remote and provides access to key features of the system right so with the tablet they are teaching uh, instead of uh, teaching learning process is done instead of blackboard we are using tablet all you people are doing it right and cell phone allows remote functionality and some essential settings modification so all these devices already existing in the market and these few are all all 20 that means uh, 90s are uh, 90s i think so most of your 2021 people uh, i think so all your uh, uh, graduates i think the graduate those who are doing pursuing ug pg degrees they are having this wearable devices for head neck arm torso and feet for head they are having helmets and glasses smart helmets and smart glasses for neck they are having smart jewelry and what smart collars for arm they are having smart wrist watches wrist bands and rings and for torso they are having smart clothing pieces and backpacks and uh, for smart uh, feet they are having smart shoes and smart socks right so in the 2021 all the students that means a ug pg graduate they are they should have even elderly people they are using this wearable devices for taking care of their health right that's that's the next slide yes wearables 
So this uh, variables uh, uh, will be useful for taking care of all these happenings. You just see how well do I sleep? How well do I sleep? Yes, uh, you are sleep pattern. You are asleep, and then when you are awakening, and uh, time to fall and sleep, and time to awaken. You were in bed for how much of hours? All these uh, statistics can be uh, easily modeled with the help of these variable devices. You just see. Uh, you went to bed at what time? Time to uh, fall asleep at what time? Time to awaken at what time? You were you were in bed for how many hours? All these statistics can be easily monitored through wearable smartwatch or wristbands. Now we are in the market. Like Fitbit Flex is there easily. You can uh, analyze, analyze the sleep statistics and the right hand side the pictures of time asleep over the past thirty days in hours for the past thirty days the entire April month how many you fall in sleep. And for the entire uh, 30 days time so we can over the past 30 days all these statistics can be done with the help of fitbit flex or a smart band or wristbands or smart wearable device so that is one of the major use cases as far as health sector health, healthcare sector is concerned right so these are also additional wearable technologies which is available in the market and open uh, there for doing some good research wearable technologies like uh, dedicated fitness and the push notifications uh, in 2022 we are going to have number of uh, wearable technologies especially for healthcare sector you just see IoT wearable apparatus for oil and gas industry, uh, hands free mobile worker dock, rugged mobile interface, Bluetooth noise cancelling headphone speakers, Honeywell uh, Ray RE gas sensor. So, these are all for oil and gas refineries industries. And for connected ports and shipping industries, you just see all this uh, uh, futures. We will, we will develop some IoT based smart systems for fully automated port terminal, drastically lower operating costs and labor costs. Autonomous cranes to load and unload containers, uh, autonomous smart vehicles to transport containers, smart GPS tackling and uh, management of cargo, better asset protection and of expensive freight charges, that is smart. Communicate with other vehicles in supply chain, flex the freight and rail costs, smart system has to be developed. Uh, live video surveillance of port, harbor, and docks. Uh, this is an open research issue. Still, it is pending. Enable mobile apps for port workers to boost their uh, efficiency and productivity this is open for research productivity and improve operations uh, to meet the strict regulations of shipping industry these are all some open research issues still available you can explore it and you can do some iot projects so that the society will get benefits and now i am moving the original research issue and challenges which uh, postgraduate or undergraduate of computer science, even professors, those who are doing research in machine learning and IoT, even after research also, they can do some additional research with the IoT use cases. I'm going to give you another 10, 15 minutes, the effective use cases where the research is still pending, open, and you can put your own wholehearted efforts for doing some good research. The first one is home consumer, where you can put some applications like smart light bulbs, smart security system, Smart pit feeding, smart irrigation controller, smoke alarm, smart refrigerator, smart stove, and smart energy monitoring system using IoT. And as far as transportation uh, environment is concerned, so you can develop some IoT based traffic routing, IoT telematics, IoT uh, smart package monitoring, smart parking system, right? So in uh, in Tamil Nadu, it's not a case. In Bangalore and Delhi and all, parking is a big difficulty, right? Uh, so that this smart parking system will be useful. So while you are developing some use cases or while you are attending some research, or if you are working some on research, it must be provide it must provide a solution to the uh, current uh, situation, right? So like that, you have to take a research and the smart shipping, public transport, airlines and trains. And as far as the health sector, the healthcare sector is concerned, you have to go for smart patient care. Uh, small early monitoring, uh, smart remote diagnosis, smart equipment monitoring, hospitals and hygiene, biowearables and food sensors. This is all open area where you can put your efforts for doing some good research. And as far as the buildings and infrastructure is concerned, uh, you can go for smart security, lighting, smart electrical transit, smart energy credits. And as far as smart cities is concerned, I think so you all people have a fit around 25 cities in India. They are converting as smart cities. So as far as uh, the government of India, they designed it. Ministry of uh, uh, Information, Communication, Technology and HR Ministry. They had done the smart cities. Already it is in progress. Very soon, within a period of two, two, three years, we are going to have at least 25 smart cities in India. So once smart cities came, the smart electrical distribution, smart maintenance, early and signage, utility, smart grid, smart energy services and waste management, all these projects come to come into picture. 
So these are all uh, some open issues and uh, challenges available. You can put your efforts for doing some good projects uh, for the welfare of the society. And these are all some additional use cases uh, which is available for research. And let us start with the home. You may put a question sir, for home where we can put efforts to the help of IOT. Yes, for smart home, uh, this this you can you can connect. Uh, you can you can switch on switch off the lights. You can switch on switch off the fans. You can you can control the taps, water tap, which is what is the very, very important resource, right? So you can control the water uh, with, the, with the water metering using IoT, you can, you can control the water usage and you can analyze and uh, smart uh, door locking system, right? And the entire security, temperature, humidity, and also if you are having parking, right? So two wheeler, four wheeler parking, every one of you are having, right? If you are in a villa, you will have your own parking. So opening and closing of shutters of home or opening and closing shutters of your car parking can be done with the smart mobile phone, right? So that is one of the IoT issues. So these are all the things where you can put for smart home. And for schools and colleges, uh, you can go for smart school transportation, smart student IoT project management, and smart school building management, smart student health. Uh, I'm not going to in-depth into that projects. Anyway, I'm putting some uh, overview of this project where you can explore and you can do some projects with respect to schools and colleges. Smart student activity tracking, smart cafeteria, smart system lab. Sorry for inconvenience because of net connection. I have been disconnected. Now we are seeing the full screen. Shall I Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Professor Rishwana, shall I proceed? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Full screen. Shall I proceed? Yes, sir. The screen is visible, sir. Now you can proceed, sir. My voice is audible. Shall I proceed? Yes, sir. Your voice is also audible, sir. Okay. Sorry for inconvenience because of uh, net connection. Shall I proceed now? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is about smart schools and colleges. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the input. So this is about smart school transportation and uh, smart school building management, smart student health, classrooms, STEAM lab, uh, and activity tracking, and IoT project management. Uh, these are also my IoT uses we can develop. And this is about attendance management system for colleges and schools. Attendance is very, very important. So monitoring attendance through IoT devices with the help of GPS and RFID. Uh, uh, already existing uh, if you want to go over some good evening sir sir your voice is breaking
Again, uh, sorry for inconvenience. I'm disconnected. So see my full screen. Shall I proceed? Sorry for inconvenience again. Yes, uh, yes, sir. Yes. Shall I proceed? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So smart manufacturing industries, you can put some smart use cases for manufacturing plan, global facility insights, customer site, global operations, and all. And uh, For smart grids, you can uh, put some use cases like factories, homes, cities and offices, ecological vehicle, wind generator, renewable energy, photovoltaic, thermal power plant, hydraulic power generation. So these are all some use cases. It's still it is open for research. For residential energy sector, you can put uh, uh, local energy generation, home appliances, remote control, cloud services, energy storage, and security and safety, smart meters. These are all some use cases. You can put your uh, efforts in doing some research with respect to residential energy, commercial energy and reliability using IoT. And this is about connected cars. And when we are working on connected cars, I want to, I want to present a video, uh, if time permits. One small video I'll do. Google self-driving car. All you people aware of it? Just a minute. Ma'am, you are seeing my video. This one, madam. Uh, no, sir. You are not seeing my video. Yes, yes, no, sir. Okay, then yes, I proceed with the presentation. Sir. Okay, no problem. Now screen is visible. Your presentation screen only visible, sir. Okay, okay. So our uh, video is not, uh, I am not able to do that. So I will, I will uh, I'll go to the presentation. So Google self-driving, you are aware of it. Uh, that is one of the best use cases. We are going to have it in India once all the small cities are done. And this is about the self-driving car, uh, Google self-driving car. Uh, where it having a number of futures, online entertainment, mapping, dynamic building, safety and security, and uh, futures like uh, uh, transforming the data and action intelligence is available in Google self-driving car. Uh, enable proactive maintenance and pollution avoidance and fuel efficiency, reduce congestion, safety and
uh, their staff members. Uh, he will be connected soon. Please wait. Ready my screen, ma'am. Once it's shall I proceed, ma'am? Ah, yes, sir. Yes. So this is about smart parking. I think so. You already we discussed this. Residents can identify and reserve the closest available space. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, sir. Your voice is breaking, sir. So this is Ma'am, shall I proceed, ma'am? You are seeing the screen. Uh, yes, sir, but your voice is too breaking, sir. A screen is visible, sir, but voice no, is... No, ma'am. Um... No, it's audible. Now, okay, sir, but later your voice is become, uh, becomes very uh, okay. too low, sir. Okay. Sure, ma'am, sure. This is about smart healthcare and... Ma'am, shall I proceed, ma'am? Next one, ma'am. Uh, yes, sir. Yes. Uh, the screen. Uh, this is about connected medical devices. Uh, screen is not visible, sir. So you are disabled, I think. So time up, huh? No, sir. Our college with the uh, college Zoom, sir. It will be available for the whole day, sir. Oh, not a particular time. To come host, I'm get, not able to share the screen. So that I'll continue. Within a few minutes, I'll stop the session. Okay, sir. Host is having the power. Just to enable me to so that I'll share the screen.
ஓகே சார் Yes, sir. You are already the co-host, sir. Please go ahead, sir. Am I not able to? Yes, I am able to do that. Sorry for inconvenience. Uh, this is about smart connected medical devices where you can put your efforts for R&D, manufacturing, uh, distribution channels, customer service, healthcare providers, and uh, smart patients. All this can then help of IoT. Now, all the that we are having, let me have it in India also in two years. This is about smart supply chain uh, where we can put a uh, in IoT, and this is for uh, smart cities, uh, where we are putting IoT for uh, waste management using sensing as a service. And this is about smart farming technologies, especially India, especially sustainable agricultural environment. So we can put our efforts for doing smart farming using IoT. And this is about smart agriculture where you can use drones, uh, management, soil mapping sensors, machines, and routine operations can be automated through smart systems. And uh, the board control system where you can put any device in the cow and can monitor it. And this is about smart monitoring where you put a report to think about man and the uh, animal thing. Uh, this is about green houses where you can have them. And this is about smart environment monitoring. Uh, you can put the IoT use for this project. This is about smart vehicle tracking where you can put your effort. This is about environment monitoring again. I can put uh, all this in the picture uh, so that you can monitor. And this is about Okay, this is about smart security. And the future of IoT, this where you can put industrial oriented applications using IoT industry. This research and career opportunities is available. Artificial intelligence, infonemics, data blocking, shift uh, from intelligence to intelligent niche, IoT governance, sensor innovative, social, legal, and ethical IoT issues, trusted hardware and wires, latest IoT user experience, innovative world chips, new IoT working technologies. So these are all areas where you can put exploration and you can do some good research. This is all the industry supporting all this IoT research Intel consensus. Dear professors, kindly wait. We will join soon.
Please, ma'am, answer. Kindly wait for some times, few times, few minutes. So these are the top IoT companies uh, who are supporting this IoT projects: Intel, Samsung, Cisco, Microsoft, SAP, Apple, uh, Google, IBM, Oracle, Garner 360. Again, I'm telling IBM, Google, Intel, uh, Microsoft, Cisco, IoT companies are supporting uh, this IoT projects. What belongs to IIA, Informix, data broking, shift from intelligent edge to intelligent mesh, IoT governance, sensor innovative, social, legal, ethical IoT projects. Trusted hardware and OIS related projects using IoT and uh, IoT user experience innovative on the chip and IoT wireless networking technologies. If you are doing some project, these companies will support for funding. And with that, I am putting a full stop for the research challenges and issues. And uh, sorry again for inconvenience. And uh, my request to the team and uh, while you are conducting webinars, better to go for Google Meet instead of Zoom. So Zoom is not having that much of uh, capabilities. So it's better to go for switch over to platforms like WebEx and uh, Google Meet, which is very, very easy and uh, the screen sharing and all i'll take care and thanks for the opportunity given to professor dr s small sober smile david uh, the professor and dean of uh, computer science of bishop Eber college and all the dignitaries and uh, participants ladies and gentlemen thank you very much if you're having any queries please put thank you sir yes sir madam kindly ask your queries or share your queries in chat box If you're having any issues with respect to IOTs and machine learning or big data analytics, any research questions, you just kindly put over your questions. I'm ready to answer the questions in another few minutes. I think so. I've taken too much of time. Uh, professor had given around 6.50, 6.55. Because of this internet uh, issues, I had extended up to 7.05. Sorry. Please put your question in chat box. I'm getting some echo. If you're having any doubts, put in chat box. Those who wants to raise a question, please raise your hand so that host will enable you to speak. So having no, no questions, then we can uh, go for winding. Uh, professor, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. is there any questions from the audience and participants and professors with respect to IoT use cases, research issues and challenges? We put request if 
no question then i can i can i can leave the meeting okay so uh, any questions i think they are clear with you sir uh, with your presentation sir okay now the now we will end up this session uh, we are now at the end of this webinar to go give a perfect end this seminar uh, this uh, webinar i would like to invite dr g isaac nandra assistant professor department of computer science to deliver the vote of gratitude thank you good evening everyone gathered here through this zoom platform uh, first of all i have to thank god almighty for enabling enabling us to be gathered uh, through this zoom platform and we have to thank the college management first so because of their support and uh, uh, continuous guidance uh, we were able to make these kind of uh, webinars so especially we got to thank uh, uh, our principal and uh, as well as our chairman uh, for their support and also we have to thank uh, uh, the convener dr sobas sir uh, the head and associate uh, professor of computer science and also the co convener dr jamima pridesh ma'am uh, so we really thank you for uh, arranging such a uh, informative uh, event and very special thanks to the resource person of this uh, webinar uh, dr chinnayan associate professor department of information science and engineering cmr institute of technology bangalore uh, sir uh, the whatever the information you shared with us today is really informative really helpful and uh, you just uh, covered uh, from the zero to the the infinity uh, because we could measure uh, what kind of information you shared with us because you just started with the introduction to the iot and it just ended with the application and the opportunities research challenges all those things so all those points are really useful though we had a, a small uh, interruption during this webinar really it was uh, very amazing so we are uh, happy to uh, have you today with us and also a special word of thanks to the mc uh, dr uh, professor iswana ma'am thank you for uh, uh, making this event very live and also i have to thank all the faculty members of the department and all other wonderful participants for your patiently you know, listening to the webinar thank you everyone thank you so much we will meet in the another webinar thank you so much thank you sir thank you also sir and once again i thank our resource person dr chinnayan for the wonderful session and uh, i thank uh, all uh, other staff and other our Uh, department faculty members and the college members and other college members for your full presence and cooperation thank you thank you all uh, now i we are going to end this now thank you thank you ma'am and sirs